Ebe won ni le loko. E siku dedi a siku yi. Hey guys, it's Adjeron Ke again. Today I'd like to continue on my series on Yoruba metaphors and idioms. And the title of this one, which is pretty much the idiom itself, the metaphor itself, usually it's so hard to tell which is which because idioms and metaphors tend to be quite similar, especially in usage. So, but I'm just going to say idiom slash metaphor. The metaphor slash idiom is Juba Eholo. Juba Eholo. Juba Eholo. What does that mean? So of course I'm going to give word for word transliterations of what that means. Juba Juba is to pay homage. Is to pay homage. When you stretch Juba out in order to kind of find the origin of the word, so you would notice that it's a combination of two words. Ju and Iba. Iba is pretty much homage. Ju would be equivalent to something like to pay, to give, to offer, right? So Ju Iba. But you don't have to stretch you can just say juba and that means pay homage and the euro is the rabbit or the hair euro is the rabbit or the hair so when you say juba euro you're saying pay homage to the rabbit slash hair per this usage it's more hair here than rabbit the euro here would kind of be more associated with the hair than the rabbit i mean they both mean euro the translations of rabbit and hair to yoruba would still be euro i'll tell you how you can differentiate between both but again like i said the translation is pay homage to the rabbit or the hair now i'm going to give an example sentence before telling you what this means the example sentence that i have is Nigbati o gbọ pe won bo ojuba e oro Nigbati o gbọ pe won bo ojuba e oro Nigbati o gbọ pe won bo ojuba e oro so i've included the um, the idiom in the uh, in this example sentence what does that mean word for word Nigba is a combination of two words Ni is could be at it could be the preposition at or in or some other prepositions really but in this case it would be at or at the in this case it would be at or at the so ni then time is igba igba could also be period season whatever but time is igba so at the time at the time at the time igba however you could simply say nigba is when so it's still the same thing. at the time that or when you know still the same thing nigba when t that nigba t at the time that or you could say when nigba t o is he or she or it o is he or she or it Bo is to hear. So when he or she or it heard. Big bad to you. Bo. Be. That. Be. That. Wo is they. Wo is they. Mm. When you include un in a sentence, you give it a sense of something that is happening presently or something that happens. So the reason why I put where here is not where as in the past tense but because the preceding word is they so i'm keeping up with english tenses they were i can't say they is and i can't say they are right so when he or she heard that they were bo is to come that they were coming when he or she or it heard that they were coming or he or she or it or juba is to salute to pay homage to pay homage is 
the correct um, transliteration. Eoro is rabbit or hair. Eoro is rabbit or hair. But you would, when I get to it, you would see that the Eoro here is more of the wild rabbit, the hair. So basically, the transliteration of this is when he or she or it heard that they were coming, he or she or it saluted the hair. That's the transliteration. When he or she or it heard that they were coming, he or she ran away. Took to the in this case it would be he or she, right? Because you don't expect it, a non-living phenomenon to take to their ills. So it would then we can remove it and be to a degree sure that um the person we're talking about what we're talking about so who we're talking about is either a male or a female however i feel that sometime in the future we may have robots that may be able to take to their eels you know so i don't know <laughs> but for now I'm, I'm excluding the it and i'm saying he or she so the translation again is when he or she heard that they were coming he or she ran away or took to their eels how do you differentiate between the rabbit and the hare? Because Eoro could mean both, the rabbit or the hare. How do you differentiate? You could call the rabbit or the hare Eoro. However, if you want to say hare, just to kind of uh, emphasize the wildness of the hare, you could say Eoro Igbo. Or Heoro Igbe. Igbo is like the bush, the forest. Igbe also applies. So Igbo, Igbe both mean bush and forest. Igbo, <laughs> apart from the fact that it can mean bush or forest, could also be marijuana. It's the Yoruba name for marijuana. So that's just oh <laughs> fun fact <laughs> for you to know. Igbo is also is also another is also a name for marijuana. So Igbo or Igbe is bush or forest. Igbe, apart from the fact that it could mean bush or forest, could also mean feces or poop. Feces or poop. So <laughs> Igbe could also mean feces or poop. Igbo could also mean marijuana, but both mean bush or forest have you seen how fast rabbits may not be able to run as fast that's why i said we can safely say that the particular rabbit kind that was being talked about or used metaphorically when this phrase came to be this idiom came to be was more the hare than the rabbit rabbits are fast too but maybe not as fast as the hare they're a bit more like agile and fast i guess they have longer like hind legs and whatever i'm not sure but i know that hares tend to be a bit bigger you know than regular rabbits there are several tales and folk tales and whatnot about the competition between the tortoise and the hare in english and in yoruba and in, in different cultures so i guess in almost all cultures like in many cultures i won't say almost all that's wrong in many cultures they recognize that the hair can be fast they recognize that the hair can be fast and i think the tortoise is recognized for being crafty and because i think in the typical story the hair and the tortoise run and then at the end of the day because the hare was quite relaxed and was like too boastful or whatever. The hare slept off and the tortoise won the race, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> but but that's pretty much the idea, you know. Because the rabbit... Oh, not the rabbit. Like I said, for this, let's just go with hare. Because the hare is quite fast... When you pay homage to the hair, or Jubai Holo, Jubai Holo, you're pretty much hearing that um, someone, whether the person is 
human being or a sen- another sentient being, you know, the person ran away. Ojubai Horo. Person ran away. Ojubai Horo. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions regarding this, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll be happy to respond to all questions. Please like, share, like, share and subscribe if you'd like to. Thank you. And support my channel in whatever ways that you feel led to. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and goodbye.